Hello, Monkle Zonkey here, and welcome to my next Slayer Guide, and this one is going to be how to kill Ganodermic Beasts. Now, Ganodermic Beasts require 95 Slayer to kill, and they're also one of the few tasks that you absolutely cannot use Dragors on, so that might be a bit disappointing to some of you, but they are actually very, very good XP per hour, and you can also earn some money doing this task as well. So, as always, before we get started into killing the monsters, I'm going to show you guys my uh, gear and inventory setup and what you want to use to kill the Ganodermic Beast and all that. So for the gear, first of all, a full Slayer Helm, of course, and then um, Subjugation Robes is what I would recommend if you can't afford them. I would go with Arims, or you could always go with Virtus if you have the money for that. And then I'm wearing a Ceridoman Cape because that's my best magic cape that I have. And uh, again, a Rick Boots and Gloves, you can exchange these for Virtus Boots and Gloves, or Barrow's Gloves are a good option as well. And then a ring, just a 6th Age Circuit is a pretty decent ring, or you can use a Seer's Ring or a Ring of Wealth. And then for a staff, um, Chaotic Staff, or you can also use a Virtus Wand and Book. If you don't have either of those, then a, uh, a Staff of Light is a good option as well. And for the necklace, you want to be wearing a Demon Horn necklace for the uh, the prayer gain, because Ganderic Beasts do drop big bones, and we're going to be using that to soul split the health back that we lose. And uh, along with the Demon Horn necklace, you're going to need a Bone Crusher in your inventory for that uh, great prayer gaining. And also just a ring to bank is always nice, a charming it because they do drop blue charms occasionally. Um, I have runes for Fire Surge in my inventory, and then a Ring of Slain to check how many kills are left, and a Vecna Skull. Um, extreme Magic Potions are a bit better than a Vecna Skull, so if you have those, bring those. And then obviously we're going to be using the Fire Surge spell because that is what they are weak to. And then heading off there, you just want to get yourself to a Fairy Ring. Takozo is a great ring to bank with because it can get you very close to a Fairy Ring. And we're going to be heading towards the Polypore Dungeon, which is a large and confusing place, but um, the Fairy Ring code BIP will get you very, very close to that dungeon. So you just want to use that code and then uh, proceed to the Ganodermics. There are a couple options here. There is a place where you can also cannon the Ganodermics as well, and if you're up for that, you can. Um, just be aware if you do decide to cannon the Ganodermic Beast, you're going to need to bring a lot of food. Um, I choose not to cannon them because it's a quick task whether you do or not, and it's a very good XP whether you cannon them or not. But anyway, you just want to climb down those two vines when you immediately enter the area, and then just run to the south. And the area with the Ganodermic Beast is uh, a bit farther away, it's a bit of a run. But as I said, this task is one of the best Slayer rates in the game. It's about 139k Slayer XP per hour, a bit more if you do decide to cannon. But anyway, you just climb down this vine here. And the object of this, um, the Ganodermic Beasts do have the poison. If you go close to them, they will hit you very rapidly for high damage. But the great thing about Mage is we have the ability Impact, which will freeze the Ganodermic Beast so they can't get close to you. And of course, you can just Soul Split back any health that you lose, because we have the Bone Crusher and Demon Horn Necklace. That is a great way to uh, regain prayer, so you don't have to use any prayer potions or anything. But the Ganodermic Beast, they don't take very long to kill, and they also give a large amount of Slayer XP per kill. They give uh, 564 Slayer XP per kill, so that's very, very nice. And that uh, really adds up quickly when you're killing them. Unfortunately, they're not the best combat XP per hour because they only give 1.5k XP drops, and obviously that's split between magic XP and uh, hit points XP. So they're not the best combat XP per hour, um, but you can achieve quite a bit of money here um, just from all the tree seeds that they dropped. If you get lucky, you'll get some magic seeds and palm seeds, stuff like that. And also from the Ganodermic Flakes that they drop because those always do hold a decent value. But anyway, the basic strategy here is just to stand in the middle of the area and um, just use impact on the Ganoderic Beast to freeze them. You can also run a short distance away um, if they come up close to you and start poisoning you. And then, yeah, just uh, spam away with your abilities. Make sure you're fire surging because that's what they're weak to. And it's a very quick task. It doesn't take long because Curidel does not assign large amounts of them. She usually assigns between uh, 60 and 80 Ganodermic Beasts, so you're not going to be here for too long. But anyway, that's about all for my guide. I hope that it was helpful, and uh, hopefully you'll get this task and earn some pretty good loot. You can usually make around 1 mil profit per task, which is always very nice. But anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for future Slayer guides, and I'm off for now. Farewell.